Good morning, guys. I'm so happy you're here this morning. Today, we are going to talk about how to use our special gifts to serve others. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 12, verses 12 through 27. The Apostle Paul traveled far and wide, spreading the good news about Jesus wherever he went. Several years after starting a church in Corinth, Paul got the word that, well, things there weren't going so great. I need to write them a letter. Quill, please. My brothers and sisters, I have been told you are arguing with one another. Paul especially wanted the new believers to understand that God had given each of them unique gifts, and no one's gift was more important than anybody else's. There are different kinds of gifts, but they are all given to believers by the same Spirit. There are different ways to serve, but they all come from the same Lord. There are different ways the Spirit works, but the same God is working in all these ways and in all people. Now, just like the believers in Corinth, each of you has also been given special gifts. God designed every human being uniquely for a special purpose. Each of you are good at different things. Certain skills and talents come more easily to you. Mm -hmm. But once you decide to follow Jesus, you have the power of God's spirit at work in you. So your gifts are supercharged. <laughs> now, you're not just trying to do it all on your own. God is at work in and through your gifts. Let's see what some of those gifts might look like. Ah, maybe your eyes are great at seeing patterns and finding amazing ways to organize things. Maybe you've got a stellar voice and you can encourage the people around you with your singing. It's possible God's given you a gift for, uh, hmm, let's find out. Ooh, baking. You can bring joy to the people in your life with tasty cookies or bread, or uh, let's see, quarter cup, third cup, half a cup. Mm-hmm, fractions might be your thing. Maybe math comes really easily to you and you can take time to help kids you know who struggle with numbers, like me. <laughs> oh, here's another. You might have some serious skills on the basketball court. That gives you an awesome chance to show courage and endurance in tough practices and kindness to everyone. Yes, even kids on the other team. Let's take a look at one more gift. What could it be? Oh. Earbuds. Did you know that listening can be an amazing gift? Yeah. So many people are stressed out and hurting, and what they need most is just a friend to let them talk and really hear them out. These are only a few of the unique individual gifts that God has given. Yours might be entirely different, but here's the awesome thing. The gifts that God has given, you can open and use anytime, and you can use them to help the people around you too. It's, it's like you both get a gift. Now you might be saying, huh, I wish I was really good at soccer instead of drawing, or just listening to someone is not as cool as singing a solo on stage. But your gifts are just as important as the gifts God has given to everybody else. Listen to what Paul says. There is one body, but as many parts, it is the same with Christ. We are all baptized by one Holy Spirit, and so we are formed into one body. Then, Paul sets up some pretty amazing word pictures. Take a look. Suppose the foot says, I am not a hand, so I don't belong to the body. By saying this, it cannot stop being part of the body. And suppose the ear says, I'm not an eye, so I don't belong to the body. By saying this, it cannot stop being part of the body. 
If the whole body were an eye, how could it hear? If the whole body were an ear, how could it smell? God has placed each part in the body just as he wanted it to be. If all the parts were the same, how could there be a body? As it is, there are many parts, but there is only one body. The eye can't say to the hand, I don't need you. The head can't say to the feet, I don't need you. In fact, it is just the opposite. The parts of the body that seem to be weaker are the ones we can't do without. God has put together all the parts of the body. In that way, the parts of the body will take care of one another. If one part suffers, every part suffers with it. If one part is honored, every part shares in its joy. You are the body of Christ. Each one of you is a part of it. God has given you a unique gift. No one else can play your part in the work God is doing in this world. And when you choose to follow God and let him work through your gift together with others, you can make a big difference in the world around you.
one of us special gifts. We can use these gifts to help serve God and serve those around us. This week, think of one very special gift that you have and use that gift to serve someone. I'll see you guys next week. <laughs>